Intel class 2 division 1 and reverse for class 3 if you have a class 3 case and in class 3 you have reversed overjet reversed overjet and in some situation difficult situation uh -huh. my soul retraction retraction distalization mm. It depends on the wire. How the wire round? I am looking. We am looking extrusion. How the wire rectangular or heavy? It will move with the movement. It will depend on the whole movement of the wire. Okay. I mean, for example, here, from the wire, when you do force, it happens like this. If wire rectangular, if it happens like this, the wire will move. It will happen with the body visualization. So, all the movements of the wire depend on the wire gauge in the rack. So, we have here class three. Anterior cross bite and the most difficult class three case is class three anterior cross bite with upper spaces, and the problem that if you put power chain on the upper arch, the upper teeth will be retruded and the posterior teeth will be mesialized, but the reverse overjet start to increase. So you shouldn't put elastics. You shouldn't put power chain in the upper. You should use class three elastics from lower canine to upper six. So the benefits of elastics is mesializing the upper six. The so upper six will close the gap and touch the five. And then it pushes the five mesial, so the five start to touch the four. And the four start to touch the canine, and then canine will push the incisors, so flaring will happen to the incisors. And you should put large rectangular arch wire to prevent the anterior teeth from moving upward to achieve a, like, a little bit bodily movement. And it's important to treat a mild class three or edge to edge cases. And the effect of elastics to the lower, you will start to move the canine distally. And also if you have spacing in the lower and you put power chain into the lower arch, it's important in class three to use class three elastic with the power chain. It means power chain are retracting the anterior and the class three elastics increasing the anchorage. So the anterior teeth will move this step more than the posterior teeth movement mesially. So what will happen? The anterior teeth will start to go back and you are ligating all the lower, so they are all distalized, okay? So it seems like the force on the canine will distalize premolars and the premolars will distalize the molars. So you can see here how the molar will move from the force of elastics. So the elastics is very, very important in our practice, especially in class two, class three cases that you have spacing in the arts that you don't, you shouldn't have space in it. Okay.